Lucio, everybody. Giving you an update on old pretty boy here. He definitely improved, but something's still not right. I gotta look into this more. He uh he tends to do everything to his right side, so he kind of turns to the right, his head tilts to the right, he leans to the right. So I'm not sure, but he is walking, moving around, eating and drinking fine. So we'll see. Just trying to give him a chance. I wanted him as a breeder. Just because I wanted to try and uh, spread his colors a little bit. But we'll see. Just figured I'd show y'all real quick. He's doing good. we got to clean out his cage and get it situated. We're having storms today. I'm looking from old Hurricane Francis. So I'm uh, walking around. Figured I'd bring y'all along. Seeing if we have any issues. Don't think we do. Uh, beautiful day, actually. It's a little windy, a little rainy. Out here looking at my hodgepodge of weed and crusted plants. Hopefully, the wind's not too bad. Got some stuff over here. Some's alive, some's dead. <coughs> Sweet potatoes. Ornamental trees, a couple dead fruit trees, this guava that tried to die and then bounced back, avocado looking good, variegated lemon looking good. I'm going to need to up pot a bunch of this stuff. So just random stuff back in there. All right, low pot for my sister. Just some ornamentals that got tossed and kept them. Pineapple. Another avocado that keeps getting some sort of infection. And the limbs turn colors and all the leaves fall off and then she'll leaf out and give me more. So I haven't given up on it yet. A bunch of weeds and stuff over here. All kinds of crap. But I got right here. I don't know what they are. But they're definitely some form of pepper. Popped up in that pot, so I'm going to take care of them. Very windy. Hopefully this microphone sounds okay. One of them cheap TikTok ones, we'll see. And a raspberry. I kill them every time I put them in the ground, so I do this one in the pot. Seems to be doing alright. Pineapples. Cranberry hibiscus cutting from the one I grew last year. It died, didn't come back. So I'm actually going to baby this one and try to get a bunch more cuttings or air layers off of it over the winter, and then we'll get them out early spring and see. Big cuttings. And this is a lychee that tried to die on me, but it's springing back to life. Keep an eye on that and see what I need to prune off of it. You know, these figs I got from the flea market all had some sort of rust. All their leaves shriveled and done like that right there. But they're all putting on new growth. Pretty sure that's called. Oh, I can't think of the word of it now. Not a hydrangea. Can't think of it. They grow wild out here, and then there's Chinese varieties that people deal with. Oh, another thing she's done found something. She ain't making any snake. Bella, what are you doing? Hmm? Over here, huh? I gotta get this pond cleaned up. Oh, water hyacinths are taking over everything. Come on, girl. Let's go for a walk. Oh, that's got a sticker on it. Why am I trying to figure out what this is? Wisteria. White wisteria. I'm gonna try and make an archway or two wisteria trees with it. Or. Quat tree. She's finally recovering pretty well from that crazy frost the other year. 
in our wild orange, sour orange tree. Pretty good. The wind and my goats wreaked havoc on these bananas over here. As I was saying, Maddie had just got home from school. She wanted to tell me about her day. We got our original fig tree. Gets this every year. Doesn't seem to affect it. It grows really well. So she's coming back. She said the bananas, my goat Zoe loves to come over here and strip the leaves. They look a little rough. But not doing terrible overall. Nice and windy and cloudy. Feels good. It's not too hot, not too cold. Dead patch from where we had the water slide for the grandkids. Bounce back. Let's see it's going back to life now. Now he's that way. Sheep are doing good. Most of the animals are doing fine. Poor little Odin there. I'm still working to try and fatten him up. They're so abusive to him. Not sure what's going to happen there. Got to get him healthier. Honestly, expecting more of the dead stuff up here to fall. But the storms actually ain't that bad. A little windy, but not bad. Got the female pigs in there doing good. Got the males over here with the turkeys and the ducks. Doing just fine. <coughs> What's up, fellas? Huh? What's going on, guys? <laughs> Getting turkeys to gobble. It's always fun. Got lots of male pigs need to deal with. Cleaned up the garden a little bit. Time to start prepping it. All right. Chucha peppers were never really allowed to do anything because of the weeds. I choked them out so bad. And then the kids broke that one off when we first tried the weeding. And then I got that one. Our Tabasco peppers. These plants are actually three years old and come back from the roots every year. I've actually took this one. You can see the old stem from last year. And I dug down just to confirm that it was from the roots. These are three-year-old pepper plants. Zoe come down here a couple months ago and cleaned them off. And we got some sweet peppers here that didn't do really good. And these are jalapenos. And that's one of those new jalapenos. It's a jalapeno with no heat. I actually have two more that Zoe got right there. The grasshoppers and the weed. The weeds took a huge toll on our okra. I could have probably picked some, but they were just so ate up. So now that I've kind of cleaned it up and got it exposed, we will probably get one or two small pickings from this because these okra will usually make until we hit frost. And we're still months out of frost. So we'll see. When I removed all the weeds out here, these okra were ate up with juvenile grasshoppers. Like that one right there, actually. And stink bugs. Yeah. Aggravating. Yeah. I've got some free range chickens that have been uh, going over here and helping clean this up some. Nice if I could turn the ducks loose on it. And I've got a whole sweet potato garden in here. That I need to dig up. And I had a row of onions, one of these rows. 
weeds that took them over when I got sick. And I should have come out here and worked a little every day on it, but I did. Ah, oh, see, there's one of my purples right there. I mowed it to try and get a better view of what I was going to come up with. That's a sweet potato there. Should be quite a few of them. Uh, they're getting a little light. There's a sweet potato there. Sweet potato there. So yeah, I'll give it a couple of weeks to see. There. there. Yeah, all the sweet potatoes will come back. I just gotta stay on this grass so I can identify the sweet potato. It's crazy there should be someone here that to the Okinawa purples. I'm curious what actually come come of them. Some there. <coughs> so that's pretty cool. This is what I was hoping would happen would be that once I mowed it, like that, the sweet potatoes would spring back because they're so resilient. And I could just go ahead and dig them up in that spot, or let them grow. Another, uh, another run. I'll probably take one of these just to see what the round will combine. See, these spots here is where the pigs, when they've gotten loose, come out here. They had harvested their own sweet potatoes. Now I've got the white sweet potato down here. And I don't see them springing up like the purples. I know the piggies didn't eat them all. There's a vine. There's no. I'm just starting to get a leaf on it. They're a little slower, I guess. That's one. I had a bunch of them planted back here. I don't know. The piggies probably got about a third of them. That's a big one. Coming back right there. That's good. So yeah, we'll definitely give it another couple weeks. Just come out here with the weed eater. Try to keep the grass down. Once I figure out my exact boundaries for what's growing, I'm thinking it's right in here at that hump. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, like right there. So from here over, I can use, I'm thinking from about there over I can use not sure what I'm going to plant. I'm thinking a bunch of turnips, mostly for animal feed, but my wife also likes to cook with some turnips. I've got a bunch of turnip seed, so no real expense on my part. A bunch of stuff I need to burn. Still got a lot of fence line to clean. Oh, beautiful. I think this is a green seedless grape. Finally doing what I want up on this. I want it to grow around the edges. The pigs can't reach up here. Uh, that right there tells me my electric's not hitting. Teddy's laying on it. That's crazy. But the pigs have trained to it now, so they're not testing it. But I definitely got to go in there and stop it from grounding out. This an apple that I planted here was a mistake. Uh, so when we burn our fire... When we have a big bonfire, it's too hot. And so, not sure, pretty sure it's above the grass. Still above the grass. So these are still Anna's. But the heat cooked it. Killed everything up top. Those are coming up. So I probably, I'm going to have to move that. I don't know. Or I might try to air layer a few off. We'll see. I'll put some sort of a board or something up here to block some of that heat when we burn it. Just until it's able to establish itself. Planted 25 comfrey crowns this last year. And these are my only two survivors. And they look like they're doing great. So I'll divide them up. It took a couple of years for my Yapon hollies to settle in. But they finally had a good growth year. I transplanted four blueberry bushes right here, runners from mine. That's the only one that survived. The mulch has drastically helped with that. My tree died that was right here on Howie's grave. 
I got this area right here. I'm trying to mulch all the way up. And like I said, I recycle my junk mail and all paper waste as my first layer of mulch, and then we cover it with straw or hay after the fact, and we're just going to work our way down. The old garden, secondary garden, is going to be my next permaculture row. We've still got our Jerusalem artichokes, sunchokes, doing good. Sugarcane, doing great. This sugarcane is going to be 100% used for new growth. I want to feed the leaves to the animals and then just plant the canes for more. This is a basic sweet potato garden here that's been overrun with grass, but I can still see where these are. I'm confident they didn't do anything. I'm probably not going to harvest from it this year. I'm probably just going to let it go. Maybe burn this grass off or mow it. And then stick something else in here for these sweet potatoes to come back as ground cover next year. I do want to get some of these sunflower seeds to replant. Other than that, I'm not really going to mess with them. I got wild ground cherry. Don't really taste good. I got to get rid of it. These things tend to become prolific. These bananas, love this spot. We had built a banana circle right here in the middle. Goat manure and spent hay. And we got lots and lots of bananas. With the trees coming up. I don't know how they'll do in the winter. The dwarf mammoths, I believe, probably got 10, maybe 12, counting the pups, in this one spot. This is our little potato experiment right here. Nothing growing in here now. It's just this grass. I'm probably going to flame weed this, burn it off, and plant something else in here. As you know, my initial plan was got my permaculture food forest row right there, and then this was going to be row number two right here. And uh, I need to get some stuff planted in it, start getting this mulched. Don't know how that's going to go. Morning glories. And this stuff right here. Love to take it over. The marigolds that I transplanted out here did amazing. But they kind of choked out the tomatoes that I had over here, which wasn't doing good. I didn't put a lot of effort into them. I should have. There's evidence of one there. I had teaspoons and black muties over here. I would have planted about a hundred marigold plants. And I know they'll reseed, come back next year. I'm not going to do anything to discourage it. Had one of our piglets pass, I buried him right here. I'm going to probably plant a fig tree or something right there. I've got a cherry of the Rio Grande right there. He took some shock as we planted her out here in the heat. You can see she's bouncing back just fine. And I've got a fig that'll go right there. That'll start my work on this. Most of this area, so I'm probably put some bushes in here. Blueberry or something like that. That's all sumac trees right there, self planted. Probably gonna start using them as chop and drop. I haven't got any flowers from them this year. I wanted some berries to try the drink, but. Not yet. Butterfly bush. She was one little stem last year. She's pushing back. I need to try and clean this up a little bit. My other Yapon holly over here has actually gotten taller than me. Interesting. She's got a pecan tree that the squirrels planted over here. It tends to keep up with her. The holly will outgrow the tree, or I'll cut the tree out. And the next year she'll push past them. So we'll see. I'm just letting them grow side by side and see what happens. Some are pecans here on the property, so who knows? I probably need to prune it up some so that it'll push higher. This yapon's looking good. I know I've got one or two root suckers over here I'm going to dig up and put in pots. Potentially start selling. Somewhere over here. I ain't quite ready to start working the bushes yet. Shape them the way I want. 
but maybe soon. What do you think, Bella? Walking up here to the fence line. Still got to get some barbed wire and repair it. I got this jelly palm seedling right there. It's a couple of years old. You stay over here, Bella. That's not your yard. <laughs> Sorry about Come that. You get on here. She likes to go over to the neighbor's house. No, ma'am. You stay over here. Try to teach her her boundaries. My wild uh, grapevine that I planted out here started out doing really good. When we got into the harder part of the year, a lot of the big pieces died and the skinnier ones put out new growth. So we've got a lot of new growth down here at the base and the smaller skinnier pieces, the bigger pieces, I want to say just sacrificed and acted as food storage for the main plant to keep it alive. I guess looks like what happened. Got a store bought grape right here. Not doing nearly as good as the others, but there's no mulch, no nothing, so she dries out. She's doing everything she can to survive. I'm gonna have to work on that this fall. So next year she'll bounce back. My Virginia mimosa tree and my Virginia muscadine that I planted. I'm about ready to start losing her leaves. Still healthy, doing good. Most growth I've gotten out of her in years. I've had her here for five years now. Almost. This is my really good blueberry area. I need to do some work in. Definitely got to clean it up some. Get these oaks out of here. I just want one one oak on the tree line here, or on the fence line. Magnolia coming back. Got broken off. I'm going to come out here when I clean this up and keep stock of which uh, bushes are blueberry and which ones are oak out in here. And I'm going to transplant some of the blueberries once they go dormant. I got a tree snapped off right there in the neighbor's yard. Interesting. Didn't notice that. But yeah, should be able to get lots of blueberries out of this area. Moved. This is a Monstera Delicioso I planted last spring, and she survived the winter, came back. Took her a little while to start, but she's there. And hidden over here, where is it at? Yep, they're about to lose their leaves. I got this right here. It's a sassafras tree. Brought back from Virginia when I got them vines. Yeah, I done walked down a little bit. Had a little kick up there. It's all good. Uh, skipped the possum grape that I got from Virginia. It's right up there. It's uh, already dropping leaves because in its mind it's fall. You know, Virginia's climate's a little different than ours. Got one of our local beauty berries. Bird planted. Bruce and I really need to harvest this and make uh, jelly with it, but... I'm just gonna let it do its thing this year. Got another little batch back there. That's cool. I hadn't noticed that one before, so that's new. Uh, they make some good looking berries. Even these plants with getting a little bit of leaf issues because of our humidity and stuff, they still produce like nobody's business. Nice. Got these. They didn't do much this year, but Hoping that they'll be like my grapevines and just establish the first couple of years. These are uh, some passion fruit. They died down to the ground. We planted them out here last uh, summer. And they come back from roots. The runner roots over here. And the main plant right there. Bounce back. We got our our fruit that dies every year and comes back from the roots every year. Probably won't never do nothing in this spot. But maybe we'll see. I'm hoping that eventually one one year we won't have a bad frost and she'll 
surprises and push out. Get my wild persimmons. I don't know if they'll ever do anything. Planted them years ago before I had researched and had any idea what I was doing. And not that I really do now, but a little pawpaw. Hopefully we have something in a few years. Uh, pineapple pear. Maybe we'll finally get something off of her next year. A loquat. Big, beautiful tree. Looks like she's prepping the flower. It's finally tall as me now. That's cool. She's one of my best out here. Might actually get something from her this year. Peach is about done. She almost died last year. Uh, this is what she pushed out this year, so maybe we'll get something one day from her. Another one is my Israeli apples. Standard pear right there, just a sweet pear. Another tree limb i got to clean up. And my other blueberry patch. A pomegranate. Survived the year. My original pawpaw tree. I planted before I knew what I was doing and needed multiples. I don't think she's going to survive out here. I've got two more. One there that's already lost her leaves and that seedling. Maybe next year I'll get some fruit off of her. But I don't know. She just don't like this spot. Mayhaw tree. Every year in the heat she starts losing her leaves. Some pests and bug problems as you can see there. She ate up with this lichen. But she's never thick so she has plenty of airflow in here so I don't know what's causing it. I thought about a layer in one of these smaller pieces and transplant it to a different location on the property but I may just get me a different cultivar. But we've had her, it's actually one of my first trees, and she's never produced. A rosemary bush, another wild persimmon. I got figs underneath those lemongrass, apple from seed, uh, crap, moringa, moringa tree you can see. And this is a from a Flumin and Famous, one of their, I think it's America's Best. Let's see what we did on it. Mulberry. The world's Best, I can't remember which. But yeah, beautiful tree. Just a little bitty twig when I planted it out here, but man, it's almost as tall as me already. I think next spring there's going to be a lot of air layering going on with it. This thing. I don't know what's going to happen with it. But this is a dwarf everbearing, and that is the most it's ever done, and it's seven years old. So I'll just let it live. If it dies, it dies. If it lives, it lives. I'll give it a little mulch and a little nutrients every year, and that just barely keeps it alive, I guess. But I mean, they're 20 feet apart, 30 feet apart, one year old. Six to eight years old, somewhere in there. Another wild persimmon. I think I'm going to be grafting those persimmons over the next couple of years as I practice my grafting. Chickasaw all plum, ready to shut down for the fall. Never does really good, but hopefully one day it'll wake up. I had a whole bunch of bananas out here, and they slowly died off, and just in the last month, one banana has sprung back up. That's crazy. This was supposed to be a banana circle right here. Got some wild blueberries behind it. I don't know. I got a bunch of citrus back up there. Actually, yeah, let me show you this one thing for call it quits in the video. I got another two-year-old Monstera Deliciosa. Doesn't do anything, just stays little like that. But she comes back. Pretty neat. They harvest the corn. That field over there. Squirrels or somebody's bringing them over here. 
I'll probably have a bunch of corn spring up next year. I usually have peanuts spring up. I got my blood oranges and tangerines and stuff. They struggle every year, but still alive. They're not grafted, so when they freeze back and come back, it's still the same plant. I planted these from seed. Gotta get rid of all these oak that are popping up, sapping the nutrients. That ain't even what I'm wanting to show you. That one right there. This is a little, uh, what I call seasonal or uh, torrential creek bed. Flows off of that land up there and comes down during our rainy time. And sometimes we have water flowing for days, week, but never permanent. So I planted this here three years ago. It's a jackfruit, and it freezes back every year, and comes back every year. I'm going to figure out a way to keep it from freezing this year. I just want to see if I can get one to establish. While I'm up in here, tangerine right there, behind the blueberries, and the oak canopy. As I watch on uh, Pete Canaris on Green Dreams, and he says that his Citrus does better in an oak canopy, so that's why I stuck them back here. But then my lazy butt hasn't come in here and kept the privet and the oak down. It mulch like I need to, so it's a project I definitely need to get on, see what these citrus will do. But they survive every winter and come back. And it's tangerines, blood oranges, and I think I've got one lemon in there. And I, think I lost it. I had, I planted it over here. Pretty sure it died. I had a current. And I don't see it. Now. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure I lost it. I forgot all about it. Just walking by. It just popped in my head. Hey, got me look for your current. But all I see is dewberries. See the current. Oh, oh well. Right in here, all of this. Yeah, all I see is different blackberry varieties, wild grapes. What's that? I don't think that's it, but I don't know. I wasn't really pushing for it, but it would have been nice to have. The root sucker, wild persimmons popping up. But I'll eventually get this area sorted out with the blueberries, get a lot of these oaks cleaned out of here, and get some more edible stuff growing. But probably bored y'all enough just walking and talking. Well, I reckon that's all I've got today. Just wanted to walk around after the storm. I do this every time it rains. I want to see what happened, and I figured I'd bring y'all along while I was taking my walk. Doing my exercise. Hope y'all have a great one. Appreciate y'all sticking along with me. And what up for watching?